Emergency Department, Jeff speaking. So my name is Jeff Brown. I'm a registered nurse here at Blunt Memorial in the Emergency Department. I'm one of the, um, I guess, senior people that works in this department now. I'm a team leader. Go clean rooms one and two and get yep. them ready. And 11. And 11, yes ma'am. Okay. I've worked here uh, since 2013. I initially started working here as a PCT, which is a patient care tech, up on 4 South. New patient will be coming to room 24, EMS. This patient has been triaged. And I've been down here in the emergency department since 2015. Hey, that 88 one, they don't have to go through BO. You can just put them in nine. We're busy all the time. Uh, both your IVs are 22s. As a team leader, um, obviously it's to help dictate the flow of patients, um, to make sure that your nursing staff is functioning efficiently and that we are prioritizing patient care appropriately. You could probably just go straight into room nine with that. Anything from pediatric arrests, strokes, burns, uh, people get cut with chainsaws. Might need a unit bed. To simple things, you know, flu symptoms, sore throats. We have a, a huge medley of things that we see down here. Copy that. We'll see you on arrival. It can be intense. One, two, three. For us, it's just a normal day to come in here, you know, so we get accustomed to seeing these these things over and over again. All right, we're good. This could be that person's worst day ever and their family's worst day ever. It's scary, it's noisy. You know, this is a, a tough environment for our community to be in because nobody wants to be in the emergency department. If you want to go ahead and put your finger there. Everybody gets assessed. There's a nurse that waits that triage window. So from the second they step up to the glass uh, to check in, they're, they're being visually assessed. Mm -hmm. So you can recognize signs of distress if somebody's clutching their chest, if they're pale, if they're diaphoretic. On a scale of zero to 10, how bad is your pain? You know, you, there are tells uh, to say, hey, this person needs to come back now. And we never want to make anybody wait. Um, that's not our plan. We'd like to get everybody taken care of. You've got to be willing to help your team. You know, and if that means taking an extra patient or transporting your own patients because your tech is busy, um, you just have to be flexible and you have to be committed. You don't ever want to leave a teammate, quote unquote, on an island, so to speak. You know, you got to be there to support each other because, I mean, let's face it, we see a lot of really emotional stuff. I mean, people, people lose family members. You've got to be there for them and you've got to be able to put a smile on and walk into the next room and, and provide that same high level of care. You are constantly learning down here. Um, you're honing your skills. I mean, if you wanted to work in the emergency department, I would just say be prepared to learn every single day. I've worked with people who've worked at many local facilities who all have told me they prefer our emergency department because of the environment, the teamwork, um, and just the way that, that our department is very cohesive with each other. Everybody jumps in to help. Honestly, I, I just love being a part of the community and being able to make a difference here locally.